To have the Mac Commonwealth have three teams, two at large bids is just, just warms my heart that we are getting the respect that I think that we've deserved for a long time uh, as being a high quality um, a group, of, a group of teams. And this benefits everyone in the Mac Commonwealth. First of all, we're gonna take it one game at a time. We are not looking to Sunday. We wanna get through Saturday and we wanna be playing our best lacrosse on Saturday. Having that dominating three quarters uh, against Messiah was so great for our creativity on offense, our risk taking on defense. I thought that we really put together 45 minutes of some of the greatest lacrosse that this program has ever played. We have to come up with a game plan this week to make sure that we're not dropping off our play in the fourth quarter because our middies are tired. And I can't say enough about Caitlin Kozlowski and Carrie Russo, who are two-way middies, 57 out of the 60 minutes a game. And uh, they're just playing great lacrosse the whole time. We are heading into these games knowing exactly what to do. So Saturday, it's gonna be very, very important that we keep those middies fresh and we're able to put together 60 minutes. I'm loving what our defenders have been doing the second time they're playing a team. You know, the ways that, that York scored in game one, I can specifically in my mind, uh, one person in particular, uh, Taylor Wibiken, just changed her play from game one of Messiah to game two of Messiah. And then York, same thing, changed her play in game one, from game one in York, to how she played York in game two. And if that's one person on a team of 29 that's doing that, and we can get 16, 17, 18 to have that same approach, I think that we're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. One of the things that has been a big difference maker in the last probably three, three to four weeks this season has been Sophie Shikovsky. There's a reason that we held number 14 Messiah to two goals over almost three quarters because we have faith in our goalie. And as long as we continue to have faith in our goalie, I, I think that we're gonna be pretty difficult to beat. I think offensively, we are going to need every single player to contribute. We've got Caroline Murphy and McKenna Blick drawing double teams pretty much every time they have the ball. They're doing a fantastic job creating space and creating opportunity for other players to cut into the critical scoring area and, and finish with a great shot. The rest of us around that have to do our jobs and we need to take some of the attention off of Carolina McKenna and we need to make sure if they're getting too much attention, we are open and driving hard right after that. Meredith has a lot of very tall, very athletic players. Uh, they're not afraid to go to goal. They're not afraid to shoot under pressure. So that's not something we see typically, that kind of size, uh, you know, from person to person. Uh, we don't typically see teams that really go to goal, whether they have two people on them or not. So we're, we're really working hard to defensively prepare to try to get some charges called. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna make them move the ball. The other thing that they do very, very well is they lead their passers from X, passes from X to the critical scoring area. They lead their passers very well. So taking care, of their primary feeder, who I think has 67 assists. Uh, taking care of that and having multiple game plans if something's not working, uh, being ready, to, being ready to, to take that option away is going to be very key. 